Wow. Spuds Buckley would have had those pictures up immediately. What do you have? I'd love to hear his I miss Friday's installment, by the way. Not oh. to... I did miss Friday's installment because I was really... I didn't, I didn't give anybody a, a taste of Spuds Buckley But you Friday. promised. Well, I did, but well, I... Well, we got the old school Spuds Buckley, the one we uh, heard a couple of times already. Yeah, well... You know. All right, I'll... La, just... la, 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 la. I love Bear Man going, whoa, hey. Hey, hey, oh, boy, here it is. La, 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 la. Oh, no, no. no. Well, Good just... morning, Bear Man. You want another taste today? No. I have to. Fudgy, wudgy, buzz. <laughs> What? Well, uh, can we have one more time at that? I, I just didn't hear it because God intervened and shut my hearing down. <laughs> Mercifully. Fudgy wudgy bars. Fudgy wudgy was? Fudgy wudgy bars. What's wrong with that? Ladies and gentlemen, put them together for Spuds. Oh. Uh, Buckley. Uh, Buckley. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put it better for, uh, together for a Spuds a Buckley. That's uh, my pal, Bear Man, who does mornings in Allentown. Oh, boy. That's, that's all you get for now. Uh, that, no. For now. No. For now. For no, now. No, We're in the no, middle of baby diaper mustache. No. I'll roll up a newspaper and hit your nose. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fudgy, <laughs> wudgy, buzz. <laughs> oh God! What was that? What? Get the fuck! Give me the only copy. Give it to me. I don't leave until I get it back. All right. I don't trust you fuckers anymore. Thank you. Run off copies. <laughs> it's the only copy. It goes. If that's home actually with me. the only copy. Our staff should be fucking shocked. Oh yeah. Well, something tells me it's not. I don't think it is. Shut up. La, 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 la. Oh, no, no. Good morning, Bearman. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put them together for Spuds oh. uh, Buckley. Ah, uh, uh, Buckley. Buckley. <laughs> Spuds uh, Buckley. <laughs> See, he was happy that I came by. No, well, he wasn't. It? We can't hear the... Fudgy, wudgy, Buzz. It's too. Sh it's honestly too short to understand what you say. Fudgy wudgy bars. Bars, yeah. It used to be a um, hmm. uh, people on Jones Beach that would walk around with coolers, okay. and they'd be like, "Fudgy wudgy bars, fudgy wudgy bars, ice cream, ice cream," and they'd like sell That's shit. That's so was Spud selling fudgy wudgy bars? Dude, yeah. What was Spud's doing with the fudgy wudgy bar? Dude, Erock gave this to me today, and it says Spud's Buckley, uh, one hundred three point three, The Fox in Buffalo, New York. The tracks are labeled as follows. The Fox Fool Parade. <laughs> Spuds the Vendor. I don't remember. That's probably Fudgy Wudgy Bar. Yeah. Spuds isn't selling much. Then number three is Mert Snort. Spuds still selling. And then Float Commentary, more Spuds wackiness. Wackiness. Where's E Rock? Does he know? Could he explain this? Oh, no. We can't start this now. That's, no, that's we can see right. your This is a couple of seconds. The Fox Buffalo's Home Equality Rock and Roll hey, 636. Good morning, Gracious, good morning. Uh, you're on your way with the Bear Man. We got the whole Fox crew. We're here at the. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, at the uh, reviewing stand uh, on the for the first uh, annual Fox Fools Parade. We're located just uh, one half mile west of Furman Boulevard near Shooters, and they're still working on uh, getting some of the uh, getting some of the uh, barriers. Some of these vendors we got over here, they want to know where the hell they're supposed to be. Vendors, 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 vendors. Who's where's? Oh, let's look at the paper. Well, la 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 la. Oh, no, no. What Good I morning, Bearman. What Holy the Jesus. hell is that? Holy Jesus, Mother of God. What selling the Holy hell Jesus. is that, Iraq? Crap. That's uh, Spuds going around uh, selling stuff at the uh, the Fox Fools Parade. Watching the floats go by, <laughs> people setting up uh, displays and stands and various products for the people of Buffalo to come and buy. Well, like what? There's uh, no way to hide yeah. I need to hear more. Like what? I, I don't remember this. Ladies and gentlemen, put them together for Spuds oh. uh, Buckley. I'm here to make a buck this... All right, I can't listen. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on. You're here to make a buck. Oh, at least get to the catchy slogan. I'm Come here on. to make Come a on. buck. Yeah. Come on. Let it rip, man. Let it roll. 
Oh, oh, oh God, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm here to make a buck. Oh. Uh, I'm here to make a buck this morning. <laughs> Spuds, when aren't you here to make a buck, huh? Hey, hey. So do you have your vendor permit? Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> well, I, I'll Kinda. trust. I'll trust you. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna be you're gonna be vending up and down the parade route today. I'm gonna be selling fudgy wudgy bars this morning. <laughs> and I got a slogan. Yeah. A buck. For- all right, all right. Come on. Why'd you shut it off? Oh, we gotta hear the slogan at a least. A buck for a. Let me see. What could it be? Why you sell fudgy wudgy bars? It was cute. Why are you putting it away? Why? <laughs> it was a buck for something. A buck to punch spuds in the face. Yeah. How about you rub a fudgy wudgy bar, make a mustache out of it? <laughs> <laughs> He's just leaving. He's just leaving. I'm gonna make a buck. Oh, that's he's. Oh, he left. He walked out. Oh, he just walked out I think, of the studio. I think it's cute. Holy Spuds shit! Spuds is cute. Do you? Hello, Baron. <laughs> Who wants to make a buck? Poor little guy. He wants to make a buck. When doesn't he want to make a buck? That's what I heard. It's a cute radio wow. voice. Wow. Where look, he, he's just he keeps milling about, and he can't. He can't even look at us. <laughs> Uh, Sam's laughing at him. <laughs> Ooh. Well, uh, E-Rock, just shake your head or nod your head. Is there another copy? Without being on to anything, yes or no, I won't say a word. I just wanted to know. Let's just say on that copy there, is there more, is, is there more gems? So yes, yes yeah. more gems. I got the whole thing is gems. Every time, every time that voice comes on, <laughs> I'm selling fudgy wudgy bars, and then Bearman just laughs like he can't believe it. It's outrageous. Like, oh god, what is Spuds up to today? <laughs> oh, Spuds is always up to something. Let's bring him in. Oh, oh, here he comes. But how come? I'm just curious though. How come Spuds was like? Uh, la, 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 la. Like, why would Spuds make that noise? Yeah, why would he sing a little La La song? Like, I know he wants to make a buck. That's that, I understand that. Have you decompressed enough? <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> have you, well, why have the... you cooled off enough to talk? Why this... <laughs> he turns. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's you go know. to Patrick on Long Island. Patrick, what's up? La, 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 la. Good morning, LP. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I just wanted to say that uh, OP got outsmarted by a guy who doesn't know that MSN is a news site. Yeah. Of course I know it's a news site. No, you said you saw it on some website before the news stations picked up on it, and then you watched how everyone picked up everyone on it. Everyone is so particular around here. <laughs> well, it's not even particular. It's... <laughs> Thanks, Drew. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. That's uh, audio from a character I used to do uh, 15 years ago. At this point, do you still know how to do it? No. no. Of course he does. No. No. I mean, listen. No. 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 You don't know? No. 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 You forgot? This was like in the early 90s when I was working in Buffalo at the Fox, which is now the Edge. What's the character's name? Spuds Buckley. Spuds Buckley. How, how did he like? How did he start out though? Like how did with it brain damage? <laughs> how did he start out? Yeah. How did it come to you? Like how did you go? I uh, was uh, an overnight uh, DJ, desperate for attention. <laughs> so I uh, so so what? I invented this uh, character and brought it to a morning show, and uh, you know they kind of went with it. <laughs> they went with Spuds Buckley. Uh, I don't know why. Three different morning shows did. How did three, I was a, I was a staple for three morning shows. And how did what did Spuds do? Like, what was his thing? He, uh, it was uh, 
he was uh, not shy. He was very naive. He was uh, he was uh, full of full of energy. Well, you really? make him sound almost endearing <laughs> <laughs> instead of completely annoying. <laughs> How did you- but see, that's the beauty of it. See, yes, he was very annoying, but he didn't know he was annoying. Mm-hmm. Based on my real personality, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, you forgot how to do him though. Yeah. He my, doesn't still live in your no, heart somewhere. No, my voice changed. I forgot all about this uh, this dumb thing, and the, just kind of stumbled upon it a, a year or two ago. I went, "Oh my god, that's right! I used to do this thing." <laughs> Spuds Buckley, dude. I was making twelve thousand a year. Give me a break. <laughs> That was a lot back then, though. 12000 a year, and I would do uh, midnight to 6 on the radio, and then I would do 6 to 10 with the morning show. Not the whole morning, but I would come in and do my thing Who would when I wasn't the... getting them coffee and donuts. Who would do the morning, Spuds or you? Uh, Bear Man. Uh, then, so, then they hired some dude from L.A., some like stud from L.A. that used to do weather or something, but he was in radio. Uh, I think his name is Garth Hemp or Guy Hemp. I, think, I don't know. I think there's two of them. I think Garth Hemp. And he had one of these voices, and he came to Buffalo. And I, uh, as a little like kid, like just getting started in broadcast, I'm like, hey, I got this character. Uh, we don't need you, kid. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. He hated Spuds Buckley. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Did, did you do it for him, like off the air? Like in oh, the, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just in a blank studio with oh, a show? Yeah. Here's the character now um, yeah. I'd like to do for you. It's Spuds Buckley. Yeah. Let me just get into character. You turn around. Yeah. And then you turn back. Yeah. And you're Spuds. Now, here's the deal. Uh, we're going on vacation, mm-hmm. taking a little over a week uh, off, and when we get back, we'll do the whole Spuds Buckley thing. But I want to hear it. No, just... I'm going to give you a little something today. Oh, something God. new? Yes, but right. when we get back, th- this is the big get. Oh, you'll be chatting about it on message boards a whole only four more days before we get to hear more Spuds Buckley. Will they? <laughs> I think one of my taste buds <laughs> just died. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe they teased this. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next week until they come back and give me more Spuds Buckley. <laughs> Stupid thing is taking on a life of its own. And I haven't even found my cassette where I have all of Spuds Buckley's appearances. Oh, well. Including uh, songs I used to write and sing. You- songs? You would sing? Oh, yeah. I got you it. would sing songs of Spuds uh, Buckley. Well, you know, when I was in Buffalo doing radio, uh, you know, the Bills were in the Super Bowl every every freaking year. You didn't sing a Bills song, did you? Oh, yeah. You so, wrote, wait, wait. You wrote a Bills song and sang it as Spuds Buckley, and you have a recording of this, oh, and, yeah. and we haven't heard it. Yeah. No, I, I really got to find it because I have hundreds and hundreds of cassettes that I'm still unloading in my apartment. And a Look lot at the of one them, labeled. No. <laughs> that's the problem. A lot of the labels have fallen off these cassettes, so I got to go through them one at a time. It's yeah. a pain in the ass, but we'll get there. But That one, just pick it up and smell them. The one that stinks the most is it. The big hook in, in my Super Bowl song might have been, it's Super Bowl Sunday. But done in the Spuds Buckley voice. Oh, my God. No. You know it didn't have yuck on it. It had great. Like, oh, yeah. Go to. Good stuff. The well, good stuff. A I, I will, uno. All right, listen. I will play uh, I will play you a clip here, and then we save the rest for after break. But the, the, we'll give you a little a little more uh, Spuds Buckley today. Mm-hmm. Spuds Buckley! <laughs> oh. Yes. Let it be noted that I am hitting the boo button <laughs> no, no. on myself. You yes. should not be able to hit the boo button. <laughs> yes. You have to just take it. No buttons. Oh, what I would do to Spuds Buckley if I could find that damn time machine. <laughs> oh, the time machine, yeah. Oh, boy. you got to go back and just punch him oh, so hard. Just blindside boy. him. Oh, boy, would I. Brass knuckles to the oh. side of the face. Absolutely. And he wouldn't even know. He's like, what are you doing? You're like, I'm I'm you from the future, idiot. I think You're if being I, a jerk. I think if I could go back in a time machine, I would get uh, Spuds Buckley addicted to heroin. But then you would be so strung out. That when you reach the point now, you would be uh, probably destitute. You wouldn't have access to a time machine, so it never would have happened. Oh. Yeah, but... But, but then you'd be fine, and you'd be able to do it. But I also... And if you did it... But also want to rape him and punch him in the face geez. and all these other things. So what, what does that mean for the current day... Uh, oops. It would screw you up so badly that you wouldn't... You would never 
be able to go in the time machine to go back and screw yourself up so, so you'd I, be normal. So this whole time machine thing, if I go back and meet Spuds Buckley, I have to kind of like kind of like uh, give him encouragement. Uh, what no, fun no. is that? I want to no. go back and beat the crap out no, of him. No, because if you're able to go back, right. it means that you couldn't have done those horrible things to him. Because yeah. then you'd be so screwed up that you wouldn't be able to go back. Don't ruin my time machine bit. Sorry, it's a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is those paradox <laughs> with time travel. Just can't wrap your mind around it. <laughs> All right, well, it sucks. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> way before, way before Anthony and I did our famous uh, April Fool's prank that got us fired the first time. Oh, yes. my my second radio, by the way. Mm. Um, because we all got fired when we were working in Buffalo back in the day because they. You know, we're bought out. But anyway, um, Spuds Buckley didn't save the day. No, there was a there was a Jeez. morning show, The Bear Man. He's now heard in um, Allentown, Pennsylvania. I know. Morning, Bear Man. And um, <laughs> his April Fool's prank was to to come up with a parade, and then people would call the the, the station like, "Wow, where's this parade? It sounds cool. Mm-hmm. I want to I want to check it out with my kids." Well, the gag is there was never a parade, but it <laughs> sounded like there was an actual parade going through Buffalo. And I was part of that bit that day. Ooh. That's Spuds Buckley. I, the I, I Buffalo's in. home of quality, rock and roll. Hey, 636, gracious, good morning. Uh, you're on your way with the band, uh, man. Yeah, we got yeah, the yeah, whole Fox crew. We're here at the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, at the uh, reviewing stand uh, on the for the first uh, annual Fox Fools Parade. We're located just uh, one half mile west of Furman Boulevard near Shooters. And they're still working on uh, getting... So you get the location and all some people show up and like, hey... Where's the parade? And, and, and there's sound effects like they're building a reviewing stand or something. Is that what they're doing? Or a float? What, yeah. what are they building? Yeah. As you're on it, what is this, Animal House? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is the hammering in the background? <laughs> Unless it's Spud Buckley, Spud's Buckley's head. We're creating an illusion. Spud Buckley's All you need is a hammer stink. Uh, sound, you know, hammering a nail in, and you create an illusion. On an the illusion. Video. Yes. Theater of the mind. That's right. Furman Boulevard near Shooters, and they're still working on uh, getting some of the uh, getting some of the uh, barriers. Some of these vendors we got over here, they want to know where the hell they're supposed to be. Vendors, 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 vendors. Who's, where's, oh, let's look at the picture. Well, the- la, 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 la. All right, listen. Oh, I, so I no, 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 you got it, you got it. Please You got it. Yeah, I know. Please. I what? Please. Bobby, please, yes, just relish please, in it. Please, <laughs> I, please. I, I what? Opie, what for the love happened? of everything that's holy, <laughs> push that button. What happened? That was, you heard two seconds of Spuds Buckley, and now you just want to hear as much as you can. You haven't heard Spuds Buckley yet? No, but did he have a hat with a propeller on top? (laughs) See? It was that type of character. I didn't didn't create this character be, like, cool. Oh. It wasn't uh, getting me the Buffalo Bettys. You were like um, the nutty professor. Like, like <laughs> one guy was like, la, 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 and then the other one was uh, Buddy Love, the uh, the crooner. <laughs> you had buck teeth in your pocket and Chinese, <laughs> like Asian guy glasses. Dude, oh. I, nah, let me tell you something. La, 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 la. And I, w- I would do a lot of stuff out in the streets, and I uh, I, I was too poor to get the, uh, the proper outfit for Spuds Buckley. So I would just like, like come up with stuff. Like the pictures, they're up on ONA Radio.com. That's me as Spuds Buckley. See, there's really nothing that makes me look like the character I'm playing. No, of course not. That, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, you? yeah, look, look. Look at it and soak it in. <laughs> I have sweatpants, I, you know, and uh, white basketball sneakers, and the sweatpants are uh, tucked into the white socks that are pulled up pretty high. And then I got the uh, the station jacket on because it is Buffalo, and I'm freezing my ass off. And then I have like a like a do rag on. And are you making a la 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 face? No, I'm just I'm doing a uh, what's up, man, face. Oh my All right. god! All right, let's play this. Oh. Who's where's oh? Let's look at the Well, the- la 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 la. Oh, no, no. Good morning, Bearman. Ladies and gentlemen, put them together for Spuds oh, no. uh, Buckley. Put them together. Two mallets with his head between it. You have to stop. (laughs) My ears almost fell off. (laughs) The two shivers just went up my back. It almost shook my ears off. Right? Yeah. I. uh, You got to remember, I was making 12 G's. This is. I'm being polite. 12 large, huh? I'm being polite. This was at least (laughs) at least 15 years ago. No, about 15 years ago. You should have been making. Governor Spitzer prostitute money <laughs> to to degrade yourself like that. 
Uh, and I actually uh, was – uh, well, I told the story. I was supposed to show up at a, a really nice outdoor like uh, club in Buffalo at Spuds Buckley, and I'm there, and there's all these like you know these hot chicks and guys trying to pick up the hot chicks, and then I was supposed to be like the entertainment and do a f- couple things and sell some beers. And mm. I sat in my car and basically cried and said, <laughs> "I can't do this. Cry, <laughs> I can't do this, dude. I have suffered in this business, and and I never showed up. And it was a big client. I believe it was like Budweiser or something. I mean, it was yeah. a huge client, and I almost got fired. And then I actually, I actually did cry in the general manager's office. I'm like, Look, oh my I, god, I, 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 you can't fire me. I just couldn't do this. I <laughs> I was I was mortified." So you had a life changing moment in the in the car York as Spuds Buckley in my Honda Accord that had close to two hundred uh, thousand miles on it. Did you go in home? the parking lot of this really hip club that I was supposed to like make this big appearance at Spuds Buckley? Did you go home that night and take the outfit off and fold it up and put it in a suitcase and put it up on the top shelf of a closet? I think that's how this whole character ended. I don't think I did it after that because I just, just, just kind of petered because- out. The, the salespeople, they'll sell anything. They're like, oh, this Spuds Buckley apparently, character. Apparently. We got to we gotta have them doing appearances all over Buffalo. And the first one, I sat in the parking lot with my dumb, awful outfit that that I uh, had next to me on the passenger seat. And I'm like, I can't do this. I will not do this. <laughs> and I'm pounding the steering wheel. My <laughs> life sucks. I'm 400 miles away from home trying to make something of myself in radio. Oh, and then it got back to the GM. I didn't show up, and the rumor had it that he was just going to fire me flat out. And I actually had to let the tears flow to make sure I I didn't get fired. You used True the story. bitch get out of a ticket uh, <laughs> strategy. Hell, hell yeah, man! <laughs> not only did I not get fired, I got a raise. You got a raise? Yeah, because from- I told him how down on my luck I was, making no oh. money, you know, far from home. I was collecting uh, uh, change to eat. But anyway. I don't like that he's he's pulling on our heartstrings. I know he's trying to get some sympathy. Spot. Now. I'm giving you some background Open. on this dumb I thing. I don't care if you cried in your car and you couldn't eat and you had to go down on people to get a, a meal. You did spuds. La 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 la. Right, Good morning, man. Do you want to hear more or what? I w- let me come on. You. Not only do I want to hear more, I have to. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm here to make a buck this morning. <laughs> Spuds, when aren't you here to make a buck, huh? Hey, hey. So do you have your vendor permit? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. well, I, I'll Kinda. trust. I'll trust you. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna be you're gonna be vending up and down the parade route today. I'm gonna be selling fudgy wudgy bars this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby's Bobby. leaving. Bobby just got up. Bobby! He's physically leaving. Bobby! Bobby just left. That means we can't play anymore, I guess. He's leaving. It's too bad. I was willing to give you another 30 seconds today. And he left. He left the studio, and I can't... Yeah. I need to hear more because, like I said, I want new Spuds Buckley. Everything so far, I've heard already. Uh-huh. I need just something a little new. Well... I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I had to go punch something. Bobby, why do you think I'm, like, the biggest dick... <laughs> Because I've been through the freaking ringer in this business. Oh, wait a minute. E Rex got a got a Spuds Buckley song? What? We represent Wow. Sounds just like him. Yeah, you you might laugh, but you know, I was the inspiration for SpongeBob Square Pants. That is true. Uh yes, uh Drew. I could have been making SpongeBob uh Square Pants money. You gotta play some more. I need Sp- New Spuds Buckley for the next break. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? Just in, in case you thought I was lying, listen to this. Uh oh. Many years later, this is what was going on in pop culture. I was on to something, my friends. Yeah, you were on. <laughs> See? That's from SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. I was on to something. Yeah, you were. About 10 years later, all of a sudden, they're ripping off Spuds Buckley. Where's my residuals? <laughs> I need residuals. <laughs> Why do you think I'm a dick, dude? I've, I've done it all in this business. Ant knows. I, fr- I freaking had to th- sit uh, on the side of the Long Island Expressway at a gas station pumping a, uh, a, a dollar two gas and handing roses to fatties for Valentine's Day. I've done it all. Oh, I've had it. Oh. This is, this is I've done a- the jello wrestling in parking lots and stupid kiddie pools. This is such a backstory of how Opie became Opie. 
Absolutely. And I was the guy, oh, you don't mind. Let him work every holiday. Oh, God, that's why I'm a dick if you really want to get into it. I've seen it all, my get friend. Into it. I had to do two for Tuesdays, and I had to get the let out. And I did mandatory Metallica, and I did the foreplay weekend where the fourth cut is always live. Of course now it is. Me. Of course it is. Who do you think was spinning the tunes for your black party weekend? Me! <laughs> Who ran the five o'clock funnies? Me! Five o'clock five done those. Oh. Freeway jam? <laughs> yeah, the five o'clock traffic, traffic traffic jam. Traffic jam, yeah. Well, you get some jamming, too. That was me, Bob! <laughs> Having a nervous breakdown. That's you know, why. I, that's why I'm a dick. Anthony, Anthony's doing iPhone, uh, pal, pal talk, and aim all at once right now. He's getting scared. I'm petrified by Opie. <laughs> He's multitasking. I'm glad that I'm not the only one. No. What? Now, First of all, Bob Kelly. Yes, sir. Is a rat. <laughs> Bob Kelly is a rat. <laughs> But we all know, though, dude. If I he's just the pick one up, bringing it up to bringing it to Anthony. everyone's attention. Anthony. If I, I don't care, then why are you bringing it up? Anthony, I'm just gonna... to be a rat. No, because you're a rat. You're a goddamn Italian, and you're ratting on another guinea. Listen, you're a rat. <laughs> Let me just tell you, Anthony, yeah. because you look over and you get not. If you had eight hands, you'd have something <laughs> electronic in all eight hands. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, You'll... one would be vibrating, <laughs> and you'd be impaled on it. <laughs> uh, uh, rat fink, Bob Kelly. Because we're Anthony, you're right in front of me. You'd be like... shanked in prison in a second. <laughs> wow. In a second, you hear Bob? Yeah, he's a rat. Yeah. All right. Listen. Let me. Uh, oh, go rats. To... All right. I won't. I won't. Oh, family's rats. Let's go to Jason in Carolina. Jason, what's up? Hey, poor OP, he's gone through all this radio hell, and what was he doing a week ago? Rubbing baby crap under his nose. Nothing's changed for you, man. <laughs> nah, that's ah. true. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm still Spuds Buckley deep down. <laughs> I'll always be him. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, OP, relax. It's okay. It's okay. It's it was okay. just the, this is the beginning. It was it's the way you it. got into, Yeah. you know. The business. Who do you think played the songs uh, when we did the 9 to 5 promotion? Listen to a song in the 9 o'clock hour. Listen to one in the 2 o'clock hour. Listen to the one in the 5 o'clock hour. Be the 10th caller, and you win this crappy prize. That was me! I'm scared. Very. <laughs> Done every dumb promotion available. Very frightening. Very frightening. We, we still love you, though. He's nervous. <laughs> Who started Led Zeppelin A to Z? I started with the first song. <laughs> the Firecracker 500. That was me. Firecracker 500. That's uh, 4th of July or weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think had to sleep at the radio station the 4th of July weekend? Me. <laughs> While you're out there barbecuing and drinking and, and, and picking up broads. I had to make believe this Firecracker 500 thing was important. Oh, guess what the number one song of all time is going to be? Oh, is it going to be Stairway to Heaven? Oh, maybe it'll be Freebird this time around. That was me! I had to make believe it mattered. Huh? What? Oh, he's throwing things. He's, he's all angry. Dude, he's not even throwing things that won't hurt. He threw a coffee mug. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Big, heavy Starbucks one. It's a big, heavy Starbucks. Who threw that? Who had to deliver the big... The big six foot heroes and the pizza to the to the to, to the that. to the office parks. I actually I did that. I remember that. I did that at BAB where I thought I was actually you know finally doing something with my career and like one of my jobs was I had to like get the six foot hero and go to an office park in the middle of nowhere. And all of a sudden I'm in the in this office and no one gives a crap. They just want the free sub. Then no one knew who I was and I'm handing out T-shirts and ice scrapers and I see a kid I graduate with and he's like why are you bringing me lunch and I'm like oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah that's uh, me remember when I had this dream of going into broadcasting when we were in history class together <laughs> well this is what it's become 10 years later well like the guy said though I mean you you, you did make it and you're on a great hit show and well I not mean, back then well right now though you did you 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 made it it's just embarrassing back then yeah. Actually, you know it wasn't. It was actually cool. 
honey, guess what I did today? I went down to this this big office park. And I brought ice scrapers, and everybody was glad to see me because it was icy out. And because <laughs> it was icy out, <laughs> brought a sandwich, and it was great because everyone was kind of hungry. Dude, there was a crowd, and I just threw T-shirts into them. It was not; they were going nuts. And I'd wait, and then I'd throw it, and they'd go. <laughs> they love me. Oh, they love me, man. The guy gave me his card. <laughs> he gave me his card. He told me to give him a call. He might, he might want me to promote something as Spuds Buckley. La 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 la. Uh, let me say hi to Lydia from uh, Oceanside. Mm -hmm. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Lydia. Uh, you know, last time I spoke to you, you said you would never, ever see a therapist, but I hear so much anguish in your voice about your past. I wonder if you wouldn't reconsider. So you think I need a uh, therapist? I'm just suggesting that you may... Well, I think you need a big black dick up your ass. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? I certainly hope someone's being attentive. I certainly hope someone's being attentive down the hall. I hope he certainly gave her a fine how do you do. Wow. Jeez. Where are we? Uh, yeah. Anthony, where frequency are we? modulation, Opie. We are on frequency modulation. You must wait until this signal is beamed into outer space yeah. and returns back to Earth, cleansed yeah. in the atmosphere. Yeah. What? <laughs> Ah oh, man, this is the day. Ooh, this is the. You know, Jimmy's nervous somewhere. Chick. <laughs> it's always before vacation. Jimmy's nervous somewhere. He's going not today, not today. <laughs> wow, I certainly hope <laughs> I've had it with that Lydia crap. Could yeah. you see if was, Could you see if the guy down the hall is just like? I'm, I gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> just for two seconds, and he's in there, and he hears that. Why? He's running with a turtle. Poking out. <laughs> He's wagging a tail like last <laughs> right, right. Yeah, wow. Went down the hallway, tripping over his own, own jeans. So around his ankles. Falls on his face. Misses the button. Uh, but first, Spuds Buckley, something I did 15 years ago in Buffalo. Not proud of it whatsoever. The Fox Buffalo's home of quality. Rocky we'll start over again in case people are just doing it. Good morning. Uh, you're on your way with the bear man. We got the whole Fox crew. We're here at the... Uh, Excuse me, at the uh, reviewing stand uh, on the for the first uh, annual Fox Fools Parade. We're located just uh, one half mile west of Furman Boulevard. There's Anthony Shores. in the background, and they're still working on uh, <laughs> yeah. getting some of the uh, getting some of the uh, barriers. Some of these vendors we got over here, they want to know where the hell they're supposed to be. Vendors, 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 vendors. Who's where's oh? Let's look at the page. Well, la 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 la. Oh, no. Good morning, Bearman. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, put them together for Spuds no. uh, Buckley. Oh, so I got the big that. intro, though. Spuds uh, Buckley. Spuds uh, Buckley. Why, why did he say it like that? I don't understand. I was the big get for this no, no, morning show. I, I, no. I was the big get. No. 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 <laughs> I couldn't no, be. No, 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 no. Buckley. I'm here to make a buck this morning. <laughs> Spuds, when aren't Funny. you here to make a buck, huh? Hey, hey. So do you have your hey, finger permit? Hey, hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, I'll Kinda. trust. I'll trust you. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna be you're gonna be vending up and down the parade route today. I'm gonna be selling fudgy wudgy bars this morning. <laughs> and I got a slogan. I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh. A buck first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, uh, Spuds. Now, why don't you uh, why don't you go vend to somewhere else, huh? All right. Fudgy, it's, it's cold. Fudgy bars, fudgy, hey, Spuds, wait, bars. before you go away, now, are those cold fudgy wudgy bars or are they warm ones? Well, I heated them up in the microwave this morning. There you go, buddy. All right. See, because I was always getting everything wrong. Of course you are. And I don't know why oh. they wouldn't let us say uh, a, yeah, buck, why wouldn't they... a buck for a suck was the uh, Was slogan. that it? Yeah. Was that your slogan? I don't know why they... <laughs> They, uh... Oh, you got the suck right. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That was... That is that... really just... I don't even know what to say about that. If I met you back then, Opie... Really? Oh. Yeah? Fudgy, wudgy bars. If you, you met me... If I was doing radio to do, like, to do a comedy and you walked in, hey, I bought Robert Kelly. This is, uh... So, Spuds Buckley. Why did you... Um, so if you met me back then, what? I would want to throw something at You would have said face. no to second... second oh. <laughs> 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 uh, can't even do a fat joke right Why now. did you... Um, 
put the fudgy wudgy bars in the microwave. Because you're not supposed to. Yeah, see, the whole bit oh. was that I was messing up everything. You're, I'm I not was, a, supposed I was a, to. I was a lovable, naive little thing that was getting everything wrong. And he, kept, he kept me around because, uh, you know, he, he kind of felt bad for me. Yeah, well, I could see that. Yeah. That's the part I could definitely see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I explain why in the next clip. What? Yeah. What? You explain why you put it in the microwave in the next Oh. Clip. Oh. Hang on. Let me just shake the dew shivers off from Can the I, last uh, one. All right. We'll give you a little more. Let me hear that. A little more, and then uh, the rest has to be uh, for after uh, vacation. And this yeah. is this is, this is is where it all started. No. This is where it all started. <laughs> no. No. I was already doing radio for hell, no, this five, is where, six years before this, this even. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about this is where it all started when you snapped. Uh, it was uh, – yeah, it, it started – it definitely started at BAB a little bit, but when Ant and I moved to Boston, then it was it was game on, man. I finally had it with everybody in this dumb business, and how ridiculous it really is. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew that was in the closet somewhere. <laughs> Did you ever like be like doing your show now, successful now, and doing meeting the fans, and just in the back of your head, you know? It's like, like you know, you ever you ever do something with your friend of yours when you're a kid by accident at his house on a sleepover, and then you're with a hot chick later in your life, and you're like, wow, if she knew what I did with that kid, with my what buddy. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you ever think about Spudsy Wudsy Keep like that? Gay spudsy Wudsy. He's a Spudsy Wudsy. He puts Spuds and Fudgy Wudgy together. <laughs> you, ever, you ever Spudsy Wudsy? F out of Do you ever have like a, a bunch of fans and they think you're cool? Look, let me tell you something. And this is uh, this is a life lesson for everybody out there. No one starts off uh, being cool. What about Steven Seagal? Not a one. <laughs> Steven, Steven Seagal. Seagal. He came right you out of the You can make all came right the out of fun you want. We were playing your old tapes recently. There's not a person alive that starts off cool, except for maybe Mick Jagger. Yeah. Or maybe. Not even John Lennon. Look at the silly haircut he had back in the day. Yeah, true. Elvis. No one starts Elvis. off cool. Elvis. Well, I'd have to look into that, but you might have got me. <laughs> <laughs> and Steven uh, Seagal did come right, out how about of the game this? with Above the Law. How about this? Most people don't start off cool. Most people. They really don't. they got to find James themselves, Dean. and they gotta they got to like hone their cool. craft. James Dean came out cool. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen came out cool. John Wayne, cool. All right. Robert Duvall, cool. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones, cool. Uh, mm. Do you want to know why Spuds was uh, putting him in the mic? Yes. I do explain this, E-Rock. A little bit, yeah. Of course. A little bit. All right. This is all you're going to get for today, and we save the rest. It's the first annual Fox Fools Parade. We're located one half mile west of Furman Boulevard, right near Shooters. Plenty of free parking in the Shooters parking lot. La, 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 la. Get Spuds. your... Spuds. Ah, ah. Spuds Buckley, ladies and gentlemen. Spuds, how's it going with the uh, sales of the fudgy wudgy bars? Well, the buck for a suck ain't working so well, so we're going to throw all this in the microwave, and we're going to start selling hot cocoa on a stick. Ah! <laughs> Get your hot cocoa on a stick. <laughs> well, we just about have the uh, reviewing stand uh, completely finished there, just putting the bunting up. Anthony, if you get up more right now, I'll go with you. I I will go with you, dude. That's fine. I could I could do I could go back to doing CQ 102, hit music and more, no problem. <laughs> that was me. I just lost my. Here's like your Genesee will. Valley forecast. All right. <laughs> Anthony lost his will, his arms are hanging by his I, head. Like I, I'm, I'm stunned. 